Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I just wanted to tell you guys a few tips to become a more efficient editor. Now I've been editing for about three and a half years now, so I use I get the hang of it and everything now, and I can edit faster than I usually have. So I'm just going to give you guys some of my tips that I use to become a more faster and just efficient and all like overall organized editor. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing I do is I put all my editing apps into one folder and I just label it editing. You can make it kind of like cute like I did by separating the letters or whatever, but I make sure to have my most used editing apps on the first page and then my not so much used editing apps on this page right here. Maybe I should move SoundCloud because I use that a lot. Anyways, that's my first tip. It usually helps in the long run so that way you don't have to go searching for your editing apps or whatever. Like if you wanted to find an audio, you wouldn't have to scroll five pages for SoundCloud if it's on another page. So yeah. My second tip is naming all of your projects. Now, clearly, I'm not great at this, but I can tell you a way to fix it. So what you can do is I'm just going to go onto my thumbnail that I make for YouTube. You're going to go ahead and just name it. You can do this on Video Star, After Effects, A Light Motion, whatever you want. And then I'm just going to name this thumbnail for YouTube. Um, sometimes I forget, I don't really use A-Light Motion that much other than to make you guys tutorials and make my thumbnails, so that's why I don't really name many things, but I do name everything on Video Star. so like everything on Video Star is named. Like I made this edit of Mallory, and just like every single thing on here is named, and yeah, so that's just like my second tip, it, j it just helps you stay more organized so you know what you're editing. And my third one is to look at the time. Now, I clearly didn't spend much time on this, but either way, looking at the time, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if it's a faster time than usual, then it usually makes me happy because it's like, wow, you're like a fast editor. Like, do you know what I mean? Or when it says, like, longer times, like maybe two hours or whatever, then that also makes me feel very accomplished. Like, you spent so much time on this and it ended up looking amazing. So I'm like, good job, you know? Okay, so my third tip is to add Sharpen on to any of your edits. I'm going to go ahead and just make a photo right here, and I'm just going to name this YouTube Tutorial because I don't really know what else to name it. So then I'm just going to go ahead and add my photo in right here. Okay, so now I usually add Sharpen. Sharpen, it's not even to be a more efficient editor. It's kind of more like an editing tip. Adding Sharpen to any and all of your edits automatically increases the quality by like a ton so what you want to do is go into effects add effect go to the search button and then type in sharpen there are sharpen on after effects there are sharpen on video star it just doesn't it doesn't really matter what you use there are sharpen on it even CapCut has sharpen so as you can see it automatically adds some of it for you so this is what it looks like without sharpen and this is what it looks like with sharpen now you can also increase it if you wanted to you can make the radius more or less I've really sharpened just kind of just like makes your edit more HD quality in a way, I guess. Um, I always use sharpen on every single edit. Like I said, it increases the quality and it just makes it look so much better. Also, if you needed to like make a low resolution clip more high definition, add sharpen onto it. It works great. My, um, I think I don't even know what tip this is. Anyways, like what number? But the next tip is to have do not disturb on clearly i didn't do that at the beginning of the um video but that's beside the point having do not disturb on while you're editing is one of the best things you can possibly do because then you won't get interrupted by people texting you or calling you or even school notifications at that you just you'll just be able to edit like like just like straight ahead i don't really know how to explain it you just be like go for it like no interruptions or anything and then you're gonna get that edit done immediately so yeah and those are pretty much all my tips for editing and how to be a more efficient editor at that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if it helped you, I guess, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down below any tutorial requests you guys may have. And we hit 30,000 like three days ago. So thank you guys so much. I literally just cannot believe that we hit that much. And my channel has been growing with some newer subscribers. So hello to the new people. It's very nice to have you here. You can stick around if you want or you can leave. It doesn't really matter, but either way, I'm just glad you came. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye.